Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Sem Gamer. I'm here playing Epic Seven, and I wanted to go over how I was able to beat the game and make my first six-star character in just one week. Uh, I had an advantage of um, actually starting late uh, because I was able to look at what everybody else was doing and uh, all the tips and tricks they said not to do wrong if you want to go ahead and um, go ahead and get through this game. Um, and I think I did it, I guess, as efficient as I could, uh, seven days. Uh, it takes forever, I feel, <laughs> to make a six star. Uh, probably gets easier as we go along, and I'm just going to go over that uh, for those uh, people. And then beating the last stage as well, um, what I went ahead and did. And um, so first of all, we're going to go over re-rolling. Well, we're not going to go into into depth, but when I re-rolled, um, I had ended up getting Armin, and I had ended up getting Rat. okay? I know a lot of people are looking out for Sez. He is uh, very, very good, but I personally think Ravi is better. Uh, I like um, her tankiness. Uh, she could steal life and do AoE damage. Sez is OP as far as uh, probably getting through stages quicker, uh, but Ravi might give you that a little more sustain because for me, that last stage, it was literally just a couple of hits I would have died. And I just barely beat it because Ravi was able to keep on stealing a little bit of life. And I mean, I when I say I barely beat it, I probably had like one HP left or something. And I don't know how, but I was just happy that I was able to beat it. It took me two tries and it did work out, okay? All right, so first of all, the first thing I focused on was this story mode. That's all I was just trying to get through story mode as quickly as possible. And then I was only focused on building my Ravi. Now, I got Armin as well. Okay. So, uh, I think starting out, I used to try to get these four characters, Destinia, Ravi, Armin, or Sez. One of those four in those combinations now. Because Armin, the reason Armin is good, guys, is because he can uh, heal as well as be a tank for your team. All right, so she is a good unit. If you do get her on your reroll, I would say keep going and then do your um your special. Uh, where's, where's my arm in it? Oh, yeah, right. All right, yeah, so I would say, yeah, do that and then do your special summons uh, and then try to go for a Sez or a Ravi if you get lucky. But this skill right here not only gives you a shield for three turns, which is very important for me when I was in the... Uh, the very end uh, the last stage and it um, it heals proportionate to your max health all right so she's a healer that also protects you as well and she does pretty good damage and she does other things like uh, poisons for three turns uh, which is really good that also helps too and it uh, makes them have a chance of missing all right so she's very very good and she scales off her defense so and she stuns on that first skill all right, so I didn't get Destinia, but I did get um, uh, Armin. So I was like, okay, Armin and Ravi are good enough. All right, and I literally only focused on my Armin and my Ravi. I did get some other four stars in between, just off of day like daily summons during the week, and um, just uh, me using these guys here. Uh, I ended up getting Shuren, which is pretty good. You see doing dots on the bosses, so she was help, helping me out. And then Roman was actually became very important for me later. All right. Um, but other than that, those are the main. That was like my team I used. I used Roman, Shuren. I used uh, uh, Ravi and Armin. Okay. And then um, is I would say it's very important to try to get this silk. All right, I ended up getting her uh, late, but I didn't see, you see she's still only level 32. I didn't level her up, but she was the main reason. I had to use somebody else's uh, support character, Silk, on the last day. This skill right here, slowing down that boss, uh, really, really helped, really helped a lot, okay? And then she could keep on knocking back his, uh, his uh, combat readiness, which is the turn bar. So he just kept on knocking the turn bar back as well, so with all that plus ravi healing it was just enough to beat uh stage 10 okay and then all the fodder i use all of the fodder i put everything i didn't make uh as you see i didn't make any of my other guys i didn't make anything five star okay because i know i wanted to be able to have my strongest character be six star i did get a dn 
um, later, just randomly, because, uh, you know, you know, it just came out, this DN thing, and um, I was just doing a couple summons, and I got lucky, and I got her. She's very good. I'll probably do a video on her. Uh, as you see, I'm already uh, trying to awaken her fully, all right? But um, I didn't have her at the time, so I did have Ravi, all right? So um, I knew I wanted the six-star, um, my only five-star I had, so... Um, as we went through, instead of me, <clears throat> instead of me, uh, five star in my five star in my Shurn or my Roman or my Armin, I literally was just put into the Phantasmas. And enough time came around, and we, this one, this guy right here, we get when you beat the temp stage. Well, he was already four star max. All right, so make it made it a little bit easier just to go ahead and instead of five star in these people, five star in these people. I just put it into the phantasmas and now this uh well this is the eighth day but i had this done yesterday um but now i can literally go ahead and six star my first character in a week all right um so let's do that let's promote ravi all right we got um terror phantasma the giga the giga more gigas and another giga and here we go this is going to be my first six star we were able to do this in one week well technically the eighth day since i waited to do the video uh but let's go ahead and make our first six star and um basically it's just like summoners guys uh on the on the leveling up i made sure that i get all of my fodder i see all these two stars I just literally just make all of you guys three stars, all right. And then I was farming up my um, phantasmas, and um, I, was far I was farming stage 10-1. That seems to me. I don't know if there's a better stage. Y'all can let me know, but it seems to me to be the easiest for my uh, for my team to farm and um, and give me the most. Let me go to it real quick. So the team I was running. Was I would have two of my two stars in the back, and then I have my Armin and my Ravi because uh, my I, that's one of the main reasons I wanted a six star Ravi is because I wanted to be able to just do that without the Armin, okay? So I could just have my Ravi who could self sustain, heal herself, um, do a lot of damage, and then do her AOE damage as well. And then I have it's Team Two. Team Two is the one I was farming. All right, so you see, I had two two stars back here. So I was mainly running that. I was mainly just running that over and over again throughout the week, um, just so I could have enough uh, three stars to make some four stars. And then I also used the three stars I got when I was just uh, doing some random summons. So I used all those guys. Uh, I probably said I saved a couple three stars that I know are good. Um, I locked them, but everybody else I just used um, to go ahead and quickly make my first six star. So now um, once I get her at um, then I guess 60 or whatever. I'm thinking I could take this Armin out. Okay, I can take the Armin out and then I should be able to do this uh, with just these two. And they do give me uh, at least, I think about 4,000, 4,000, so it's about 2,000 something. Plus you have your XP boost from your guild or whatever. Uh, it could go up to like 3,000 per run. Probably takes about, if I can remember, maybe five or six runs to max them out. And then you can just keep on doing that. And then this stage, these stages keep on dropping two stars. They drop two stars so much. All right, so it's like it's a like a never-ending cycle of two stars to uh, make three stars, and and just keep on farming your phantasmas. And I guarantee you, in in a week, if you're not five star in any other characters or anything like that, you will be able to have your first uh, six star if you haven't already. Or be able to make your next six star. So I'm gonna see if I could go again another week and make uh, my next six star. I'll probably make uh, DN my next six star. I really do like her. Really good unit. I'm gonna do a video on her about how great she is. And um, yeah, these these stigmas. I was using these stigmas. I use your stigmas, guys. I was using these guys to just quickly just go here, go in the forest of souls. 
I was using that to go quickly into the Forest of Souls, and I was just completing, complete, complete. Well, see, I was working on the uh, penguins, but most of these, I had two phantasmas always, and always one penguin. All right, and then as you can see, the first things I focused on improving was the number of uh, the Soul Isles. I did that first, and then Time Blessing. Okay, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna max out all the Time Blessing before I do anything else. Um, so I, I could go get these other, um, what are these things called? These other Breath of Orbises. All right. And I'm going to max out the Time Blessing as well. So I would focus on using the Orbises to do Soul Isle extension. I did all three of these first. And then I did the Time Blessing. So this allowed me to uh, to make more uh, Penguins and Phantasmas. And it uh, allowed me to quickly uh, get to a point where I could six star my first hero. And um, so yeah, that's why I just wanted to give y'all an update of what I did. And um, just for those that didn't know uh, or was wondering if you just started, how can you quickly make your first six star? You can make a six star in one week if you just do what I just said there. Uh, focus on the um, uh, uh, the phantasmas. Don't don't worry about because you can still beat the game with four star max units. Well, if yeah, I'm so I'm sure you rerolled and had one five star. I had one five star. The rest were four stars, and I used somebody else's six, uh, five star um, rep, uh, the silk, and I was able to get through and barely, just barely, but I was able to beat uh, the last stage. So, with that said, you can just focus on uh, your phantasmas, leveling up your phantasmas, and um, in about a week you will be able to six star your first. Uh, uh, first unit. So this is my first six star unit. Uh, I gotta even look at her. All right, so we're not even in the 2000s yet. Still, all right. I would love for her to get to 2000s. We got um, we got plus 17 attack there. Only plus four attack here. I need to switch this out. I need to. I mean, I'm I'm gonna start farming. I haven't started farming equipment. All right, these all of these things are from stage drops. Even this, I don't, somehow I got this, some, was, I'm happy, it was some stage drop, I got a T5, and it was attack percentage ring, and I was like, this is great, alright, but I have not, um, started farming, I, like, I literally only focused on beating the stages, getting the 10th, uh, floor, beating that, and, uh, upgrading my Phantasm, so now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna focus on, uh, awakening her, uh, so I gotta find those catalysts to wake, awaken her. So I'll probably just start farming those stages now and uh, try to get her all fully awakened and uh, get her to 60. And uh, then I'll start farming for equipment. All right, so until I'll say, until you beat the game and probably get your first six star, I wouldn't even focus on doing all those other things. Just, I mean, do it for like the daily missions and stuff, the abyss and all that, but uh, just focus on farming your fodder and um, farming up your uh, Giga Phantasmas and uh, making your first six star and beating the game. And I think you'll be, uh, you'll be uh, good from there. All right, thank y'all for watching. I'll have more videos on these coming soon. Like I said, I will be having a video on the end. I'm sure a lot of people probably already have. I just feel like I got lucky and got her, so I'm definitely gonna talk about her. Um, I, didn't, I did not expect to get another five star. Um, in the first week, but I'm happy I got two five stars in my first week of playing But the first one's pretty much guaranteed if you just keep me rolling, but the second one. I'm just happy I got another five star um, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe until next time This is your boy Sam Gamer and I'm out of here guys Peace and happy on this side.